Hello, welcome everyone to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration. In this tutorial, we will take a look at T sort row, T filter row, T replace components. These components are part of subcategory of processing under the palette section. So let's quickly go to the T sort row. So T sort row is basically used to sort the data. We can use T sort row to sort either on one column or multiple columns. So currently we have sorted the data on account ID and if you go to our accounts data the first column is account ID and it is an integer field. So that's the reason why we have given the sort is a number sort is an alpha bytes or date and the order is either ascending or descending so similarly if we take another column let's say if we take the second column that is also a number we can sort it the order can be a different instead of ascending we can select descending as well so that's how we can sort the data on multiple columns. So let's go ahead and sort the data on account ID. As we see the account ID in the source file is not sorted. So once the data has passed through the to the sort T sort component, the input data will get sorted based on ascending order. So the next component is T filter component. Similarly, in T filter component, we can filter the data based on multiple columns. So currently, we are filtering the data based on account ID, and we are saying select the account IDs which are less than thousand. We have a range of options available in the operator drop-down list. We can select equal to, not equal to so many options available similarly we can filter the data based on multiple columns we can also select the district id and we can also say not equal to 10 just to an example right so we can filter based on multiple columns that is t filter row component is used to filter the source data or incoming data T replace component. T replace component is typically works like a find and replace option available in any old pad, notepad, or any any of the old documents which will be used, right? So control H find and replace. So that's how it works. Find the number 576 and replace it with one. So let's go to the T replace component and I would like to quickly see. There, there is an two modes one is simple mode mm, and <coughs> t replace component will work only on the string expressions so that's one point we need to uh, remember so here uh, let's take a simple example and uh, go ahead and add a column select the third one that is our string one frequency id for example if you see this frequency id we can say wherever you find this particular string replace it with something else like test or something so in that case what we will do is we'll go ahead and we will define what need to be search so we are defining search for this particular string and then replace with what replace with test and if we want it to be a sensitive then like replace only if everything is capital then we can go ahead and we can select select case sensitive option that way it will replace only exact same string but with capital letters so case sensitive is important if at all we want to define uh, a criteria to replace 
not all the characters but the characters which satisfy the case sensitive aspect so let's take the advanced mode this is where i'm more interested in uh, in advanced mode we can uh, not only find and replace uh, a string but we can also use regular expressions regular expressions as in for example let's take an example of this one so i want to replace p o these two characters within this particular column so wherever a p o if we can find we want to replace with a plus let's take that as our example so what we are seeing is so how how we need to find the PO? Uh, even we have PO over here, right? So how to distinguish between the starting PO versus the middle PO here? So if you see this PO, it has spaces in front and after PO. So to say that, let's go ahead and say look for space and followed by PO and then follow the space that's pretty much it let's see this this particular expression if you want to validate uh, if you want to know more about how the regular expressions works let's go to this particular website this is a very good website I will give the link of this website in my video this website we, we can be used to do all sort of uh, you know uh, regular expression searches so let's take an example uh, similar example so here is or so it has a space before and after so let's see if our thing works here so we have decided to use or and then follow the space okay so if you see it has highlighted these two so that means this will work so space so space in front after that look for or and then followed by space so it has able to figure out or here and here it also has a or here right so it didn't you know basically look for it and and on the top of it it is a capital r so uh, and uh, do we have any other place we have or no, not really so let's let's go ahead and uh, implement that here so we have implemented already look for space and then find po and then space if you if you find that then replace it with space a plus or a plus space right that's it so this advanced mode is really useful for when we need to look for a regular expression pattern uh, within a string not the entire string a part of a string or a special character which we want to replace right uh, then we can use this advanced option let's save it let's run this job and uh, let's see how each individual component uh, are working okay so at times what happens is few tools need double escape characters so let's give those double escape characters save it and then run oh, okay i might have selected the wrong column oh yeah so as we discussed this is this is you know one of the good uh, examples right so we have discussed we cannot do we cannot use t replace function for integers so so that is exactly what it is returning right so go ahead and select the actual column you can see save the job that's it so two things right uh, let's see if our data is sorted so the first component is t sort row and we said let's sort based on the first 
row in the data that is account ID so first column in the data that is account ID uh, and we have asked uh, that to sort the data based on this particular column account ID right so the data is sorted so and uh, then the second one is the filter condition the filter condition what filter condition we have used is uh, similarly on the first column considered only the account IDs which are less than 1000 so let's again go ahead to our result and see what is our max number so 1000 we haven't got anything above 1000 so we have sorted the data based on column number one and then we have filtered the data again based on the column number one and then t replace what we did in t replace is we are we have tried to replace po middle po that has space before and after to a plus let's see if that has worked somehow i'm not able to find it here let's take the data out and let's find for this number what is 576 should have one PO there you go so we we have 2576 I think so yeah 2576 out of that 1576 has PO and it has been successfully replaced with a plus so that's how we can use T replace component uh, by using the advanced option where we can write the regular expression.